Today's video is hopefully the last in the crisscross or secret Belgian binding series where I'll do another variation from the Anne Goy book where the boards are laced together in a, a quite interesting way. In this project, instead of making holes in the cover boards, we'll punch slots and instead of going back and forth three times in each location, we'll go back and forth six times. You can space the sewing however you like, but I'm going to do it in pairs just to make the attachment of the sections a bit easier. So we'll start with the covers, but I haven't lined the cover boards yet. And I'm going to make a template to uh, locate the slots for the sewing. In Anne's book, she uses a small screwdriver to make the slots, and I thought there must be a better way of doing it, so I tried chisels and, and fancy knives, and after a number of failures, I realized that a small screwdriver was the best way to go. Any misalignment of the slots is really noticeable, and thus why I'm making the template. I'm going to prick through these holes and on the inside of each pair is where I'm going to place the screwdriver. It's also very noticeable if the slots aren't vertical. So once I've transferred the marks through with the awl, I will tape a steel ruler to the board covers just so I can position the screwdriver uh, vertically. Now it's also really important to only pu just punch the screwdriver through the covers. You don't want to open up the slots any larger uh, than necessary. Obviously I'm not covering all the details on how to make this book. A lot of it's exactly the same as in the first video on the Anne Goy variations. So I'll put a link on the screen now to that first video, which covers how to fold the paper, uh, make the boards, and how to sew the sections into the attached boards. Use a scalpel to trim off any excess material that's been pushed out of the slots and then line the boards with the paste down paper. Once the paste downs are dry, use a pointy scalpel or pointy knife to extend the slots through the paste down. In preparation for sewing the boards together, 
use bulldog clips or painter's tape to connect the boards. The thread in each pair of sewing locations will be wrapped in the same material as the cover boards, the same as the other Angoy variations. So I'll cut a strip of the cover material, the same width as the spine board. And then I'll tape a piece of that in position in preparation for sewing. The ends of the thread will be hidden inside the reinforcing material that gets wrapped around the sewing. So we'll temporarily just tape a piece of thread to the inside of the far board and then just start sewing through the boards back and forth and we'll do this six times. The main thing to concentrate on is keeping the threads in line and next to each other. Finish with a thread that exits in the opposite direction and again temporarily tape that down. Repeat the process for the matching pair of slots. Once a pair are done, then glue the threads on the inside of the reinforcing strip of cloth. Once the glue has dried, then trim up the threads, trim up the reinforcing strip of cloth and glue that down.
and that's the first sewing location completed. then it's just a matter of repeating the process for all the sewing locations. I like to do the ends first, which provides a bit more stability for while doing the central locations. Once sewing the boards together is completed, then it's just a matter of attaching the sections to the inside of the book in the same manner as in the first video on the Anne Goy variation. that is the book done for today. I hope you've enjoyed this series on the crisscross binding or the secret Belgian binding. I think that's the final one in the series. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, I really appreciate you hitting the big thumbs up button. If you can and would like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. To be notified of my future videos, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And until next time, cheerio.